Hi guys, thank you for visiting with me today. Welcome to my channel. Um, I have a Timu haul, a couple Timu hauls. It's not, didn't end up being real big, but I um, wanted to share some of these things that I got. I've been using some of them. Some of the dyes I got cut out, some of them I don't. And um, I've been wanting to try to sew on some things. Um, I'm kind of moving away from junk journals for a little while because I've been doing it for a long time, but there's a lot of sewing can be done in junk journals and I don't do a sewing machine because it's too complicated. I tried it for a while and it kept, the thread kept messing up. So I saw these on Timu, handheld sewing machines. And I'm not going to open this all up now. I'll probably do another video on it or tell you guys that it worked for me or it didn't work for me. I did look through the reviews real good and they did say that it does it on paper. So we'll see, it's only like seven or eight dollars. So I'm hoping that it will, I, I'm mostly gonna use it for paper. So, and then I wanted some pretty thread for it. So I got some gold and silver thread to do that. And um, I will do some kind of a video on it after I open it up and try to figure out. They don't have a lot of instructions on how to do this on there so you have to kind of really look around so but I've seen some videos of them doing it and it looks pretty easy so we'll see and then I got a funny thing I'm trying to do more shaker cards and I want some foam to go in between the card and the top part and I wanted it to be a little thick and I'd had some foam that was like one millimeter so that's way too thin so I was trying to figure out I think I saw a video on somebody and they said that they had five millimeter. Anyways, I wasn't paying too much attention and I was on Timu trying to get some foam that was like that, maybe five millimeter or less. And so I saw some that was 10 millimeter. I don't think I noticed that it said 10 millimeter. Anyway, so I thought that this would be foam for, foam for uh, shaker cards. And it's this big, huge piece, two pieces of foam. I don't know what people really use this for. But um, I don't think this is going to work for my cards. I think maybe I could like cut a little bit thin off and then try to use it. But it wouldn't be very level. So anyways, there's a funny... It wasn't very expensive. So I've gone back and tried to find some. And I've got some in my cart that's like 3 millimeters. So we'll try some of that. And it looks like a sheet more like than this. I don't know what this is. So I see Timu hauls all the time where we're not looking close enough at the... Uh, what they're telling us, or maybe actually they're not telling us really exactly what we want to know, or we can't figure it out by their, they don't have a lot of descriptions, really, but but we could be looking at the reviews a little bit more, I suppose. I could be looking at the reviews a little bit more. So, and then I wanted to get some straws to uh, use in crafting, and these, uh, got these pretty silver straws, paper. I didn't want to get any of the, uh, plastic ones, so those will be nice to use. And I was looking for some book rings of smaller sizes and colored, because I have a lot of silver ones. These are smaller than I thought, and I can't remember what size they said they were, so I could tell you guys in case you're looking for some. But I'll probably go back and look for ones that are just a little bit bigger to use in different projects, you know, tag booklets, the top to hook them together. You can even make a journal and just put three punch holes in the side and then use these rings on the side. So they're quite useful to have. And then I've not really gotten into the stickers too much, but I'm doing some crafting projects where I could use some stickers and I'm not gonna go all through these. But these were all uh, under Boho. And I thought that they came out to be pretty nice stickers and could be used in projects. If you, if you look at the video right before this one on the pocket letter, I have used a, some of these stickers. So I might go back and get some more. Um, I just wanted to try out a couple packs and see how they'd work. I've been looking for uh, die cuts to use in some of the paper crafting projects. And I thought these might work in place of the uh, cardstock die cuts that you have to get, like from um, Maggie Holmes or Paige Evans or things like that. And I think they're going to work in projects um, and be a more economical way of getting more. They're not die cuts, and you don't have to take this, this, them off the thing, the backing, to use them. And you could even put them on some cardstock if you wanted more weight to them. So I got those. 
And then I'm always looking for little embellishments to put on things. And I'd seen people use these dew drops. They're like water drops. And there's a couple different sizes in there. It was a really good price. I think it was 89 cents. So I've got some of them. I saw somebody hauled these sequins, flower sequins, and they look big enough to actually use. Sometimes you're seeing a lot of things on there that are nail art, and that's really, really tiny. And so I wasn't sure until I saw somebody had hauled some of these that um, they would be a big enough size that I could play with them. So I got some of those. Some I'd gotten round ones in this uh, sparkly stuff and really liked them. So I saw these hearts. They're a little small, but they'll be really good on cards. So I got that. And then I got these puppy hearts. I think this was in a lightning deal. And those are going to be really useful. I've got the purple, the pink, and the red. I think they've got some white in there. So they're just, I don't know, they're, they're cloth. I should always open these up before I do this because I'm never very good at finding it. But they're cute little, cute little puppy hearts. Oops. They're like material. There's a pretty lavender and they're not very thick. So those were cute. Let's set those off to the side. And then I'm doing shaker cards, so I was always looking for shaker stuff. And I don't know why I went with yellow. Everybody's using blue and purple, and so I thought, well, I'll try something a little different. I was trying to think of, if you look at a shaker card or put a shaker element on something, what would look good in the background? So I went with yellow for now. And this has got all kinds of different, it's got flowers and circles and little seed beads in it. And then this one is all kind of metallic, but it's a couple different shapes. I don't know if you guys can see the different shapes in there. And this one's real pretty. I might go back and see some more colors of this one because it's got all kinds of different shapes in it and colors. And this is sparkling like crazy here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's sparkling like crazy. And then my die cuts, of course, I had to get some die cuts. The first one I got was circle. I never had um, a set of elemental circles and I've been seeing a lot of card making where they're using them in there. So I got some circles to use and I think it's going to be really useful. I'm already working. I'm trying to make a, a shaker card out of this but I haven't quite figured out how to how I want to do it. I was thinking about doing half but then I have to um, cover up the foam. So anyways, I'm still working on it. So I got that one. And then I just at the last minute saw this on the um, in the store and I threw it in my basket. You weave you weave ribbon through it. Isn't that pretty? And then the word in the middle is smile. And I'm not quite sure what the significance of these circles are. I mean, if you took them out of there, they just make circles. So maybe there's maybe it's maybe it's to take them out and make a circle for that one, or make different colored circles in the middle and then put the smile on top for a card. So that one turned out real pretty. Um, you can even not put the ribbon in there, and it's still going to be really pretty. So that one was a really good one. And then, like I said, I've been working on shaker cards, so I got this. Supposedly this is a bag, the small bag top shaker. Took me a while to figure this out, that you have to take that out, because it comes together. And I made one. And I need to uh, make a backing for it. So you gotta cut it out again, and glue one on here so that you can stick it over the top of a gift bag. So that was kind of fun. I think it turned out real pretty. And I'm gonna go back and get the big one because it's kind of small. So that what ends up happening a lot. I buy the cheaper one because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. And then I always wanna go back and get the bigger one. And then I found a word that I thought was gonna be useful for only 89 cents. Turned out real cute. You get the backing in the front, love. That cut out real easy. It's nice to have around. And then I was looking for bows and I saw these, they're called shabby bows. And I thought they looked kind of pretty. They are a bit complicated once you cut them out. And I had to go back and look at the picture like 
10 times trying to figure out how they did it, how they got these bows. But one part, you take, you take one of these and you glue it to the other part and then you fold it over. I don't think I'm gonna do that next time because it's hard to do, they don't wanna stick. See how this green is um, glued to that one there? I don't think I'm gonna do that next time because it doesn't wanna fold over, doesn't wanna stick, it makes it thicker. It doesn't really seem like, you know, you, you get enough of the color variation without it, so. And these are really small to work with. These are tiny, so if you do go look at their, I think they call them shabby bows. If you do go look at these shabby bows, you might wanna consider getting the bigger ones because I went back and put them in my cart because this is kinda gonna be kinda hard to work with all the time and make these tiny ones. But I've already used one, so I will be making some tiny ones. And then my last thing real quick is just this flower die that I got and I haven't cut it out yet. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a good one. I mostly got it because I'm trying to find some dies where you have a bunch of the flowers so you don't have to keep cutting and cutting and cutting just to get one flower. Maybe you could get two flowers out of it. And I was hoping that this would work for that. So that's my Timu haul for now. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you have any questions or you want any links to any of the products, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to get it for you. Take care.